Like, honestly, it's kind of like the whole comic book industry. Or at least, ah, bah, bah. I was on it! Yeah. Oh, hey, Boxy. Not the YouTuber. I hate you. I hate you, hog! Wakaboo, Snigundu! But, uh, I was thinking of thing. My brain goes a mile a minute and leaves all thoughts that aren't directly in the car behind. Holy crap! Yeah, jump scare simulators are. Damn it! Jump scare simulators are in abundance. I don't, like, unless this game is super shorter than I thought, like, the first game was super shorter than I thought it was if you don't go for 100%. Like, I feel like this is a, very much a difficulty spike. Though, then again, this might have been easier in the original because this is the remake. And it's hard to tell how much of it is my fault and how much of it is the game's. Because the one thing that I succumb to a lot when it comes to playing games is kind of like, I no longer care syndrome, where it's just like, listen game, you think you're trying to be clever and stuff, but right now I don't care because like, it's not compelling all that much. Like, it, the difficulty needs to be compelling or interesting. It's like, why am I doing this? Why is this difficult compared to everything else that I've experienced up to now? Just why? Why? And sometimes that can actually help me enjoy games like Uncharted that are unreasonably difficult, as you have seen on this stream. I think I'm not gonna make it. I made it. Holy crap. News of the lab! I, my shadow was on it! Why well, have a shadow if it's not actually gonna tell me where I'm gonna land? You smash. Inside the mouth of Shan, Shannon Titan Man, the funeral of Winston Churchill, sung by a lover of renowned singer. I don't ever know. Come out of here. Okay, just FYI, coming out and just saying that is a like bad first impression to give, just because it's a little weird. It's a little weird, even as myself, eh? It's not terrible, but... Mm. Run! Oh, hey, I get more life. Make sure not to throw that away. This is kind of one of those things that you need to learn about people. It's like, hey, I'm Broadcats, and then... bibbidi bobbidi boo and then I get to learn... Damn you. Damn you, turtle! I'm supposed to jump on you! But I didn't. But now I have lots of lives, so I can actually do things. Yee. Come on. Woo. Right. Fly, Billy Bones! Okay. Get. Please. Please. Died so many times right at the end. Yeah, dilly dang, that level hurts me so much. And also, that's another thing, not everybody who has am animal motifs as their avatar might be fairy, so. Hmm. Don't make it your identity too much, just enjoy things, have fun with life. Don't go into the fringe. Avoid the fringe. They are the hillbilly shotgun people. 
We are scared of them, even here in Texas. Unlock a new path by earning the purple gem elsewhere. Yes, I finally did it, stupid turtles. Oh boy! It's gonna be uh, another roly roly stage. Last one was actually kind of easy, so maybe this one won't be pain and misery. But knowing my luck, the game is gonna torture me some more. Time to experience 90s video game difficulty, everybody! We are Indiana Jones, and we are running from the giant boulder. Why the boulder was waiting just for us, we don't know! I don't think the boulder cares! Seriously, it is waiting. This is a boulder that once you did. How dare it hurt me? Don't they know who I am? I'm Crash Bindicoot. I've been around for 50 billion years. I'll be around. Um, how dare you moving, motherfucker? It's that one pillar that's moving. I'm just gonna hold down. Hold down all the way. Diagonal is where you die. <laughs> Diagonal alley is where you die. If you tried to go for that quirky stuff, you die. Extra stuff is pain, extra stuff is misery. Everybody loathes you, everybody hates you. Oh, 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 door. Thank you very much. Buy my book. I don't have a book. I wonder if I should write a book someday. I mean, I know my immediate want is to draw and write for comics, particularly my own web comics that I have yet to start making. Well, technically, I have characters, stories, and stuff in my mind. I've yet to actually drop them or web them yet. So, meh. Oh no. Billy Bones. No. Well, I never really understood why I say Billy Bones. I don't even know where I first heard that. Billy Bones! Isn't it like a character from Treasure Island or something? I don't care if I miss boxes. I leave. It's at this point in time where it's just like, boxes. I don't care anymore. And also, uh, like, uh, kind of going off of that, like, oh, am I ever going to 100% this game? The odds of that went down significantly after that bridge level. Significantly. I do not want to tr- Because that's the problem. If I want to 100% this game, that means that I have to go and time trial it. One go, one hit death. Technically. I'm pretty sure you can grab the stopwatch and then grab Aku Aku. But I just know that if you grab Aku Aku and then grab the stopwatch, your Aku Aku mask goes away. Which is weird. Want old school controls? Try the directional buttons. You've had the same advice multiple times. Now the question is, which way do we go? Not that way. That's a hole. Back crap. Double all crap. Leniency. Have some, assholes. The gravity of the situation is the gravity hates me. Y'all crap is these! It is them. It is Zimbabwe. Here to hurt you. Haven't we already done this level? Only with a little bit less green? Rubega. Yes. Rutabaga. They're failing at your job. Batman. Bat air traffic control. Don't you jump at me, Mr. Lizard. Die. Die. Well, at least I got another life here. Let's go. Billy Bones. Whoops. Ah, more lives. It'd be hilarious if I just died there and didn't able, wasn't able to get them. Then I would deserve it for being a jerk all my life. 
Oh boy, it's coming to me. Please. Slow and steady. If you try and get greedy, you will die. I was a little greedy and I lived, so I broke the I broke the rules. Oh, hidden rutabaga. Nice. I suffered for that. Will the rutabaga be there since I grabbed the checkpoint first? Yes. Yes! Alright, we can stand here. And run. Basically. Kind of weird that you can't kill the bats permanently, but kind of makes sense. Though it does give the impression that you are just like, MURDERING! NO! NO! Oh. I thought that middle one was going to come murder me. But it didn't. I'm confused. How dare you. My psychic powers did not activate. And then I died. Damn it! It's like if you go a little bit any other direction than forward with your jump, you're gonna die. And that hurts me. Especially with control stick. I'm gonna try the directional pads a bit. Die. No! I hate those guys! If you kill them, their thingy shouldn't affect you. Ah, oh, but that way you don't just jump at them to kill them. But this is what you do with everybody else! And it just is so annoying. Maybe they're the types of characters that are there to be that one character. To be unique. Ah, an annoying enemy. He didn't even face me there. So please, like, honestly, I wouldn't mind if there was a character like that in this game if they explained it. They don't explain it at all through any kind of gameplay context. They never go like, they never present a situation where you can accurately get a hold of what, why, and such. These characters do what they do and stuff. They just do, and it's annoying. I just want things to be consistent. I just want things to be explained. Why? Because the main problem is they don't feel good to fight. They just mess up your controls more than anything. It's like racing games that have items that mess up your controls. It's like it's not fun. They aren't really that challenging. They're annoying. I don't even know why he died and didn't do anything to kill me that time. Sure, whatever, game. Well, hey, checkpoint. No, I say it's not gonna do me any good. This game is being mean. Damn it. Because enemies that have no actual sense of, like, understanding of how they work? No. Not at all. Not to mention that the levels are getting longer, so the more that they try, it's like, hey, look, difficulty! Oh, hey, you're not actually explaining things. Nice. I just wish. Wish that they would do a better job at like presenting enemies in an interesting way to be like, okay, this is what this guy does. You can actually understand them, what they do. And like come up with a basic plan of action when you come up against them. But most of the time it's just like, here's a normal enemy that just messes with your controls for no reason. It doesn't even make sense. Like, why do those enemies mess with your controls? Is it the look they give you? And why is it when sometimes you spin attack them that they still, like, affect you? Anybody? 
Anybody who have any takes on why this is? It's just weird. Damn it! I slid right off. I still find it hilarious, though, that with all these games that I go up and ha be like, here are all these problems with these games, and I just, like, remember ga uh, the getting over it Bennett Foddy game, and kind of feel like that's the better game when it comes to the extra stuff. Just because the extra stuff, uh, like the extra annoyances of gaming. With Bennett Foddy, you kind of know what you're getting into. So in games like this, like, here's the first level, it's super easy. And now all the other ones are pain. Wow. wish that the games would be slightly better. It's, a, it's one of those things where it's like, the game is good. It's just the small, itty bitty, minute things that kind of get in the way of the natural flow of the game. The point is just like, it hurts. It is pain. Damn you! Diddle it, damn you! Oh. Why must you hurt me? I've been on these led uh, these levels so long that I don't even remember what a boss fight is. I think I've learned. Do not spin attack the lizard people. Even though they don't really give you any real reason not to. Other than, yeah, they randomly do things, so it's best to just stomp them up from behind. Any real reason why that is? No, not really. I just don't like things that feel weird. Damn you. Why are these here? These don't need to be here for any other reason than annoyance. Also, apparently that one has a timer too. Oh no, yeah, oh no, it's because you jumped on it. Okay. That's weird. But at least they... Oh. That's to teach you. But that, but that doesn't really teach all too much. Ah, crap. Ah. Not really. Annoyance needs to be used in certain places and in certain ways, or else it's just stupid. Annoyance is not obstacle. Annoyance is bothersome. Damn it. And also does that. Oh, it's meant to make you do that. Not have fun? Also, this one, like, goes out from under you immediately, and the other ones stay, so... I don't know. Blah. Yeah, these... This one seems permanent. Weird. Yeah, the only half ones. So this one's permanent. Weird. But okie dokie. Don't go and, uh, have, like, a bigger changes of everything to make it uh, more obvious and nice to the player at all. Annoyances should never be obstacles. Unless those annoyances are done in a very good way. It's kind of like, don't put annoyances where challenge already is. because the player is already suffering 
Yay, checkpoint. That's not gonna really do me that much. Yay! Don't have long patterns like that. That's annoying. Oh, you should have patience. This game has already gone so schizophrenic of like, oh, you have to be fast, oh, you have to be slow, you have to be fast, you have to be slow. It's annoying. It's not fun.